As customers today, we're flooded with thousands of choices, and the same is true in the CRM world. How do you choose? Welcome to this episode of Simple CRM. How to use what you know and who you know to grow your business with the president of Address2, Troy Hanna. I was recently sent to the store by my awesome wife who said I needed to pick up some toothpaste. Talk about overwhelmed. Did I want whitening with breath freshening or whitening with tartar control? While CRM can't make your teeth sparkle, it's going to make your business sparkle and it'll make you look like a customer service rock star or boss of the year. But how do you find out what works for you? First, you have to have a process in place on how you do business. Check out my fellow Biz TV host, Holly Kyle's page. She talks a lot about process and business. And if you don't have a process, then call her. Okay, so you have a process. Now let's pull together the team. But first I wanna pause there and say, hey, you, yeah, you, the business owner, you have to back this change 100% as well as be the adopter of the change. If you don't set the example for your team, they're not gonna back your decision to implement this new way of doing business. Everyone works different, so I recommend pulling in a small team of volunteer employees who would be interested in helping find the right solution for your company. I would even recommend pulling in a few of those employees who are a little bit skeptical of why you need a CRM. Once those skeptical people like it, they're gonna be a good example for the other employees. Here are a few questions to ask your team. Number one, what is our budget for a CRM? CRM systems can range from free to thousands of dollars. Narrowing down the cost uh, will help you narrow down that CRM choice. Second, who's in charge and who can help? Also some other potential costs to consider. Do you have someone on staff who can be a dedicated CRM person? And will that person be able to help train everyone on the new system? Or do you, does your CRM company offer those services to help train your staff on how to use it? Third, does it cover all your needs? Will you be using it for mostly sales or marketing? Or, and, and will it work across all aspects of your company? Fourth, will it grow with your company? Do you need to start small because of budget? What will happen when you're C with your CRM when you have more money to spend or you need more features and tool sets? Fifth, what are your integration needs? Do you need it to work with QuickBooks, project management, or can you work around that for a little while? Sixth, what is our timeline? How fast do you need to implement this into your business? And can the CRM company help you with that? Need more help choosing a CRM? I send a lot of people to my friend's website, smallbizcrm.com, which is a great resource for those trying to narrow down the search. Or just give me a call. I'm always happy to help you find a solution that works for your company. Thank you for watching this episode of Simple CRM with Troy Hanna. For more great information, visit the Address2 website at address2.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.